So GIS application in environmental health and public health care delivery system. Uh, public health and environmental health is associated with natural resource. If you pollute natural resource, public health or environmental health will be affected. If you over do over exploitation, it will directly and indirectly affect the environmental health. If you will affect the biodiversity, the health will be affected. So a special technology, as I already told you, it is integration of three things, or there are three components of a special technology. That is GIS, remote sensing, GPS. Uh, in methodology, uh, we do data input. Data can be special, non-special. Then integration of special and non-special data then analysis and modeling in GIS, and then final output we receive. That can be in the paper of, uh, sorry, in the format of table. Uh, it can be in the form of table. It can be in the form of uh, text, or it can be in the form of map. And then uh, a planning can be done using action plan. And finally, decision can be taken. So as I told you, GIS is a powerful tool to store, analyze, and visualize data for geographic positions on the Earth's surface. Uh, it is a powerful computer-based technology uh, to examine special relationships, patterns, and trends. By connecting geography with data, GIS better understands data using a geographic context. There are four uh, main ideas in GIS. That is create geographic data, manage in a database management, and analyze and find pattern. Then finally, visualization or visualize on a map. Components, uh, I already told you in my previous uh, sub theme inputs. Data management and analysis, user interaction, output. Uh, GIS and remote se sensing uh, is extremely useful in public health and environmental health because we can know the pattern, we can study the spread of uh, epidemic diseases like mapping cholera outbreak, avian flu, cancer incidence, malaria areas, malaria prone areas, epidemiological studies, HIV AIDS cases, distribution and pattern of various health problems environmental and cultural factor associated with environmental health. So environmental health refers to aspects of human health, including quality of life that is determined by the physical, chemical, biological, social, and psychological factors in the environment. So it is broadly including everything external to ourselves, including the physical, natural, social, behavioral components. And health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and is not merely the absence of disease or illness. So we need safe, healthy, and supportive environment for good health, and that depend on environment for energy and material needed to sustain life, such as clean air, safe drinking water, nutritious food, and safe place to live with clean air. Uh, because in any ecosystem, as you know, uh, there is a climate change, there is a biodiversity, various functions and interactions of different species in ecosystem, uh, utilization of different natural resources and their impact on all the components of atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere, and biosphere, which determines basically the health, the environmental health. So these are determinants. So various components of ecosystems and environment are determinants of environmental health and well-being in our neighborhood and ecosystems.
healthier environments could prevent almost one quarter of the glo global burden of diseases. COVID-19 pandemic is a further reminder of the uh, delicate relationship between the people and our planet. Clean air, stable climate, adequate water, sanitation and hygiene, safe use of chemicals, protection from radiation, healthy and safe workplaces, sound agricultural practices, health supportive cities, and built environments, and a preserved nature are all prerequisite for good health and environmental health. GIS modeling can help in answering all the questions. Non-special data, like number of vehicles, well, school, HIV infected persons, name of road, forest, population or census data, number of patients, number of Anganwadi worker in a village or block or district or number of sub-centers, number of primary health centers, number of uh, community health centers or hospitals, etc. Directly and special data. That is the location of primary health or subcenter or CHC or a hospital through digitize, digitization can be entered in GIS system for analysis and management of various programs related with environment health. Maps and final outputs produced by a GIS can be used by health officials as a monitoring and evaluation tool for better planning showing the special distribution and differential evolution of diseases, thereby reducing the monitoring and implementation cost of the health sector programs. GIS techniques through overlaying, buffering, rationing, gives an output which helps in indicating longitudinal trends, mapping population at risk, stratifying risk factors, planning and targeting interventions, forecasting epidemics, monitoring diseases and interventions over time, determining geographical distributions and variation of diseases with respect to their prevalence and incidence. These all can be studied nicely for better planning and management using GIS techniques. So GIS can generate maps in various combinations and permutations as initial and final output that can be uh, assigned through ranged color maps or proportional symbols maps to denote, denote the intensity of a mapped variable. To depict various health and family welfare programs for general monitoring, demographing, program performance, health infrastructure, waterborne diseases, et cetera, for their better planning. This technology provides overlay of different pieces of information in desired and required manner and combinations and can create a buffer zone or area around any required parameter or object or any epidemic uh, outbreak. All type of calculations and measurements are possible by interactive queries of the information contained within the map, table, or graph generated through GIS. So GIS is helpful in determining geographical distribution and variation of disease and various disease causing parameters, agent, monitoring diseases, stratifying risk factors, and mapping population and risk like cholera, dysentery, malaria in a tehsil or district or a state or a country. Final output can be in the form of maps, graphs, tables, as I already told you, for better planning and of course action and management. Uh, this was about uh, health and how uh, GIS can be extremely important in health.